everybody, Sassy Bangins here from Bang Crafter. I decided to do a one day project, I guess you could say. We'll be making a variation on this hat. I know it's been around for a minute, this style. I don't know if you want to call it a slouchy version or not, but it's the one that you crochet like a big square and then you sew it up. And I did learn a lot on how long I do or don't want it to be. Uh, if you want it extra long, do it at least 15 inches for a very full adult size. This is a very large hat. Now, we always say that you should have notions and whatnots for all your crafting. My favorite notion is a tape measure. And when I first originally made this, if you unfold it here. Now, this is just some basic acrylic I think I got from like Hobby Lobby or something, just sport weight. This was at least 17 inches. So if you want a brim, make it 17 inches. If you want just a regular pullover, make it more like 14. Measure your head. You got to measure like the full length of your head. Add like a couple inches and then that should be it. Versus the full brim and everything else because... Even if you had an afro, this hat would still fit you. It's huge. Don't let it fool you into thinking it's small. But it has perfect slouch for this size. Next one, I want to do a little bit less slouch. Because when I measured it, basically, where did I put it? I took a K-size hook, I think it was. I know I put it back. Um, To make my chains... And then pulled out my eye, size eye, hook, if you're American. Because basically, I took out my tape measure. I figured out how much smaller I wanted it this time. Made some chains. Made sure that it measured approximately 14 inches-ish. With reasonable stretch. And that's just what I concluded. And then I used, yep, my K-hook to make the actual chains. And then you just go back using half double crochet, which I'm still doing the first row on. And it does make it a little bit looser to actually see what's here. It doesn't split the yarn as bad. All the usual setup stuff that you need to know about the yarn that you're using. This one's a little bit on the thinner this, the yarn is a little bit thinner this time. This is one of the many cakes from Lion Brand Mandela Craft Care. There's actually eight balls in here, two of each one. For this one, I'm going to be using these two, which is the pink, white, purple, pinks and reds, and then purple, blue, green. Then I think I'll use these two on the other side probably later. I was just trying to find a good project that would use up this yarn. Now normally I don't particularly care for the videos where they watch it stitch by stitch. Like I don't know how many chains I made. I just know it's approximately 14 inches and will fit my head reasonably well without being excessive. So I mean, yeah, it's going to be fun watching all the colors change and whatnot, because I get to look forward to that. But I will be back when it's more likely wide enough, because that's when you seriously fit it around your head and start to measure of how much stretch do I really want this thing to have. And we'll go into that in the next scene. But yeah, just keep crocheting, half double crochet, do it forever. If you want to keep your edges nice and crisp, Going forward, skip the last stitch, do it into the chain up instead, and it will be perfectly square and will cut down on curling. You'll thank me later.
Okay, I'm at the part where I did my first ball. I can now measure how wide it really is to figure out how long or how many parts of balls we're going to need. As of right now, this whole space is equal to one of these. And this measures four and a half inches. So if each ball is four and a half inches, four times four and a half, that would be 16, about 17 inches. So I might need a little bit extra. Because the average adult head is at least 20 to 22 inches this way. Because this is going to be, like, this is going to be the top. This is going to be the bottom. And so I will need at least the other three to make this reasonably wide enough for human head. Without too much additive to fill in that last inch or so. I mean, other than that, you just basically crocheting a square and that's it so we shall continue yeah i kind of completed um the hat so i had to make another one so we can continue doing all the shaping so if the colors are different that is why <laughs> here we have just a really big square i folded it in half I believe for this adult size, if you fold it in half, it should measure approximately 22 inches. So it's two times 11, even two times 10 would be okay, but it's folded over in half. It's very super stretchy and wonderful because it's half double crochet. Now, the way I usually do the seam to keep it on the inside, so it doesn't show on the outside very much. I try to go in between as much as I can of the stitches, because this is the original cast on row. The white is where we just came from. And then you just do the simple chain stitch now some people go through that top loop i don't so i just go in between the stitches it's much more secure much more stabilizing you just go in between every other stitch that's why i like to have a loose, slightly looser gauge on these because it's not as hard to work with and that way it's just stitch for stitch and you just chain all the way down. It's easy to keep track. You don't really have to pin anything. It's not about measurement. It's just about one for one. That's it. And the stitches can't be kept too tight or anything. Because you're using the same size hook. Okay, when I get to the end of the row, I will be back. Okay, now we have to make the string that we'd use to gather in the top. And always keep in mind that there's a right side and a wrong side, because this is the side that we sewed up. So it means this will be the inside to be the not pretty part. When we flip it inside out, that will be the pretty part. That way we can make it all nice and bunchy the right way. Such as, this is when we make it look pretty versus just a lot of threads going everywhere and looking all bumpy and everything. So we just put the thread through the middle. That tightens up. We take the thread with one of the tapestry needles. Then, with this sweater, um, 
<clears throat> Having these big stitches helps. Just weave in and out as much as you can all across the edge. So that will get a nice strong gather for the top of the hat. And if it's done right, the white thread shouldn't stand out too badly. Because all the colors eventually are just going to mix together. So. It wouldn't exactly hurt to start to gather it as you go along just to make sure it's as tight as it can possibly be. on the outside. I'll just try to be able to pull this and intention this and don't break the thread. Because <laughs> that will be in some cases some of the hardest things to not do. And eventually, when you can't get it no tighter, and it was positive it won't rip. Just go in a few stitches in, you make a few knots. That will at least hold it in place long enough for you to flip it over and start to, I guess you say, make lacings on it. Because you can pull in the corners even more. There we go. 
is right now, this is the outside. This is what they call the wrong side. And we got enough to where we can still stick a finger through it, but... You can try to get as tight as you can. The only thing I can suggest is try to get those edges to stick out as best as you can. And then just try to gather them to have it look like artistic stitching almost. I know it's kind of hard to say, but this is where all that will go. But at least there's no more big ass hole anymore. You really can't see the stitches, to be honest. I mean, how many white stitches do you really see other than like that one? That's all that really needs to happen at this point. Everything's tight, everything's covered up. Eh, maybe not that one. Let's do that a different way. That one stands out way too much. But little stitches go such a long way. Mm-hmm. Look how that one just nicked it. We'll just go through a little bit deeper. Fix that. There we go. Well, let's see here. I always stick your finger in and see if you can see any movement underneath it. See a little bit of movement in there. Mm-hmm. That was all. It almost looks like a perfect spiral spring out. Just kind of what you're going for. But you just do it till it works. And sometimes you can do like fancy embroidery on top of it if you really want to try and hide stuff. Come on. Now, if you truly want to finish it off, um, you could try and do a knot right there and then weave it in or go through the middle of the circle and then do it, but I'm just going to do it on the outside. So which one's the seam? Where is that? It's not the seam. Okay, cool. Now that's all nice, tight, and in the middle. Do that same um, loop over stitch. Like you also... This is also how you end um, sewing stitches. You go in, you make a loop, you go through the middle. So it does like a crossover thing like that. You go through the middle. You go under, through the middle. Crosses over like that. You do at least two or three of them. At least those of you in sewing. Now with crochet, I just weave it into the mix and... No one should know the difference. 
There it is. And just try to weave it down as far as you can. Because if it ever becomes, if it ever becomes undone, you'll have something to work with versus not. Stretch it out. There you go. This is the right side. We see no seams. We have a brim. We have at least two inches. I mean, you do see a little of the edge here, but that's, you know, artistic license. <laughs> and it's a little bit shorter than this one. It's only about an inch or two different. So, two hats, one box of yarn. And that's how you make the very simple crochet slouchy hat. And yes, I did these like this on purpose. This is like your colorful fall side where, where one color ended. I started the ball, the mini skein on that same color and just kept going on both sides. So that's why you have the wider stripe for good yin yang. And this one... I just kept rotating as much as I had space for. And then these I just did just like straight through. I didn't put color with color. So that was the color scheme with that. Happy crafting. Oh yeah, so sweet.